were several developments today in the Malaysia Airlines downing. The Malaysian Prime Minister says the rebels have promised to return the black boxes. The UN also passed a Russian-backed resolution calling for an international investigation, and the majority of the victims' bodies are now on their way to their loved ones. Four days after the plane crash, there's finally movement, literally. A team of Dutch inspectors surrounded by armed rebels was allowed to examine the hundreds of bodies stacked inside train cars near the crash site. I have watched uh, the, the, the train and the, the wagons and I um, uh, think uh, the, the storage of the bodies is, uh, uh, is good of quality. Moments later, the train was seen departing for a city controlled by the Ukrainian government and the bodies will be flown to the Netherlands. That same Dutch forensic team visited the site where the Boeing 777 went down following a missile strike. But many leaders in the West say the rebels continue to delay the investigation. President Obama appeared before cameras at the White House today calling on the Russian president to rein in the rebels and allow international investigators to do their job. What they need right now is immediate and full access to the crash site. They need to be able to conduct a prompt and full and unimpeded as well as transparent investigation. After days of relative quiet in the Ukrainian civil war, the sort of fighting that resulted in the plane's downing returned. Several people were killed in today's battles. This is a danger for the whole world. This is a danger for the global security. And we should note that searchers recovered the bodies of 282 of the 298 people on board that jumbo jet. The vast majority of those victims, of course, were Dutch nationals. And coming up tonight at 5.30,